Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing another episode of prep for the Neo Draft League. This week we will be fighting the six hidden Ursalunas, aka this team right here. And I'll go ahead and pull this up right here as well, just so I'll have a better understanding of their types, their weaknesses. A lot of clerics, a lot of momentum, a lot of hazards, and hazard removals. However, these can't be used, so a little less hazards to worry about. I'm going to go ahead and move that back over here. Just so I could look at that, and then you go. So I did talk to Sounder already a little bit in advance. I told, he told me since I picked my his since i let him pick his six first last time i get to pick my six this time so i decided to go with sneasel gorgeist hisuian zork morpeko lycanroc dusk and masquerain already you can see four mons that i had last week lycanroc masquerain or gorgeist uh, I'm going to try not to make a trend out of this, just because it might screw me over in the long run if I do continue to do that. It's going to move you to dead last, so, since you got different forms. Alright, so. Now, I am running a very fast team. But Sound does have still some fast bulky mons that he can utilize. And it will be even better since I do plan to fight Hidden tomorrow. If that is the case. We'll find out what 6 he used so that 6s uh, can't use the other the 6 that he used. So that we can easily prep better. So for right now, first mod up is Sneasel, so we have a Miss Magius on that side, we have a Latias, which Sneasel is slightly faster than, Meloetta, which could also be good as well. Uh, so I think the first thing we're going to put on you is knockoff. Good damage. Can take off some items. Uh, next. Let's just pull you up. Alright, so since Cradily is weak... We got Latias, which is weak. And no real ice res well actually they have four. They got Cryogonal, Magmar, Urshifu, and Mega Agron. Hmm. Still want an ice move though. An ice move will be nice. So I'm gonna go with Let's see. Insurgent's calculator. Sneasel. We'll just do basic sword stance for right now. Tap. Boo, Coco. Well, actually, let's do something that's actually weak to ice. Let's throw a Latias on there. Latias is kind of bulky, so. Knock up does great damage. Alright, let's try Ice Punch here. It's not as big of a percent as I thought. It's about 10% roughly. Now let's go check Cradily. This drops down to about 6% difference. And 
And if it's the difference between six p six percent to ten percent for how much accuracy? Well, actually, what am I even on? Triple axle is right there. We run that. Uh, is there anything I want to try to stop? <laughs> before it gets out of hand. I'd say we're gonna need a fighting move, so let's check Agron. Agron Mega versus a uh, low kick. Why does low kick do so little? Is Mega Agron not heavy? Hold up. Or is it just its defense? Well, actually, it's probably just its defense on base 95. Brick break. Yeah, it's just my low attack stat. I don't even think we try and worry about Agron with the Weavile. If we need something for a fighting move for his other normal types, I say it's fine, but definitely not Mega Agron. We hard switch on that every single time. Let's check this cryo gonal. Has a roar bell. No way to set up hell. They're not gonna run weather that they don't have. The way it makes sense to. I do think brick break, break however is our best fighting move, so I'll click that anyways. But if they do happen to have that, that'd be great. And then last, we could go for fake out. That'd be good. We could probably catch someone off guard with that. Stop them, chip them, get some damage out the way. Or I could throw a poison jab on there. Which Sneasel with Poison Jab, how much would you do to a Tapu Koko that just switched in? Around 50 to 60%. I think that's pretty good. Especially since if we put Sticky Webs on you, we'll be faster and we could two hit KO that. So I'm going to put Poison Jab. And that's what heavy duty boots. What about with life orb? 75 to 88. Mm. Yeah, no, not worth that. Now, as for our item. We're running all damaging moves, no status. We're gonna want this thing to be fast. I'm just gonna run with that. Yeah, I could prep with sticky webs so I can invest less than the speed, but Weavile's already frail as is. I don't really wanna risk that thing dying to anything. Do you happen to get a like, U-turn? No. Don't get parting shot either, huh? Yeah. Nah. I think we're just going to put Bandit on here. 
I think we definitely want you to be our main center of damage. I'd have to predict a little bit, but... Chance to just Oko a Coco that just switched in on you for no absolute reason. It's pretty nice. Now let's check Latias. Gets Oko'd by Knockoff. And Icicle Crash. Urshifu Single Strike. 58 to 68%. Not too pleased with that damage number, but what can I do? Mega Agron takes 20%. I'll take that. Because I kind of have to. <laughs> Uh, Mellow Edda. If it's in its normal form, probably wouldn't have. Okay, so Z crystals do cause it to take less. Because they can't get knocked off, actually, yeah. We could kill Mellow Edda as long as it's in its normal form and it's not scarfed. But if it is scarfed, we do need webs for that. Uh, Tauros. We will check for Intimidate. That just basically removes my band 70 to 83%. And I'm faster. Alright, I think I could do pretty good damage to basically everything on that team. And Oko some things with it. Now for support for it. Oh yeah. Let's take this to the other showdown real quick. There we go. Now I actually have the moves that I'm able to use. I do think disguising Sneasel as Zor would be a very good play here. Or I could just lead with Sneasel, they'll expect the Zorark, and they might just switch. Which would also be very nice for me. I could play around with these two pretty well. As with these two as well. I only hit 110. I think we'll go with Life Orb. Not Life Orb there. As long as Life Orb Zork can kill. Yeah, we're not running that. With the five there. Sludge Bomb. Against Tapu Coco. Sludge Bomb will kill. Oh, that's what Jolly. I'm going to be timid most likely. Yeah, that's a kill. Okay. Flamethrower against the Agron. Roughly about 50 damage. I mean, not 50, 50%. 50 
So I think we're gonna run Sludge Bomb, Flamethrower. Nothing I'd really wanna use Exus Sanctuary on. Yeah, not really. I could just throw Nasty Plot Shadow Ball on there, but that doesn't hit Ditto, Meloetta, Tauros. It's resisted by Urshifu. Uh, resisted by Drapion. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's just too risky. And I'll just put Hyper Beam there, just as a backup option. I don't have anything I could disguise it as Sneasel with, unfortunately. I mean, I have moves that Sneasel learns, but none that would actually be usable, in a sense. Life Orb, fast. That was with Timid. I do got to be cautious when Meloetta does come out, though. And Shadow Ball, Hyper Beam. Let's just go check normal Meloetta real quick. Fifty percent—that's pretty good from Hyper Beam. If it's chipped down already. Hyper Beam is an easy pickup kill there. Latias. The fact that Shadow Ball does slightly more than Hyper Beam is very odd to me. Oh, no stab. That's why. Still does a little bit more. Barely. But Shadow Ball, I think, still would be better. So yeah, I'm perfectly fine with that, honestly. Alright, now time for this little fella. Since I have a Rapid Spinner now, Masquerade doesn't need sticky webs. They have rocks, so I'll throw Heavy Duty Boots on you. You probably honestly don't need it. I'll give you leftovers. Risk. Parting shot, aura will. Probably just protect too. Remove hazards, easy switch while hindering them. Good electric or dark damage, depending on what I need with protect. And then your defenses just aren't really there. Only stab is Flagsire for a ground move. Which I have one immunity, one resist, two weaknesses. Which honestly, Quagsire might be a bigger problem than I think right now.
something I could do, because I do see Taurus there, is on Masquerade or Zorark, since they're my special attackers, really. I could throw an Adamant Orb on there. Let's switch in on the Tauros Intimidate and just get the uh, free plus one speed on the special attacker. I only have one damaging move, and I have Parting Shot to easily get out if need be. I think Metronome would be nice. Because if I'm just spamming Order Wheel back to back, they'd have to switch in for something to take the electric move and something to take the dark move. So they'll probably be switching back and forth until they have something that they can use. And I'd only break it up for protect, really. And if Urshifu comes in, and it's not scarfed. I could just parting shot and get out of there. Go straight to probably Zork or Masquerade even. If I, yeah, for the fighting moves. So yeah, I think Orable just spamming that. Pretty nice. Am I able to kill anything with Aura Will? Or should I just invest more into like bulking a bit? So to Ladios, I'm going to do about 30%. Switch over to Dark, it's going to be about 60. Oh, that's why. Why is the... D oh, stab, but it's halved. Stab, but it's doubled. So actually, Hangry kills that. Should kill Vaporeon too. Uh, more Pico Normal. To Hikay, I'll take that. Miss Magius easily dice that. That thing has 65 defense, 65 HP, I think. Uh, let's see how much Drapion takes. Drapion. Yeah, I knew he's bulky. He's probably taking that. And then, let's check Quag. Okay, Quag still comes in pretty easily on this. But what if it didn't? What do I gotta do to have Bullet Seed kill you? Not Bullet Punch, Bullet Seed. Bullet Seed 5 hits, but that's what Heavy Duty boots. If I put Life Orb on there, it kills Expert Belt. Yes. Expert Belt needs 4 hits for a chance to kill. Life Orb kills with 4 hits, but even though I still need multiple hits, do you get a better grass move? I mean, I'll take bullet seed, but... Does not appear like you do. Yeah, you, norm you normally learn that anyways. I think Expert Belt works. Expert Belt or Metronome. Metronome's better in the long run. It's 1.1, so I'd have to use bullet seed twice to equal what 
expert belt does. But anything past that just goes way better. And it'll consistently help or wheel no matter what. So I think, yeah, we're going to stick with that. You got webs. You're bandage, your life orb. So we got hazards, special, sweeper, physical damage. So if you just throw more physical damage on there. You got drill run. This will be our cleanup crew. Ooh, I'm going to hate myself later when I miss that move. Promise myself that. I think we'll put stun edge, draw run, close combat. Crunch. Close combat hits Urshifu. Crunch hits Latias. Drill run hits Coco. Drill run and close combat both hit the Agron. Nothing really for Vaporeon. Ditto. If it transforms into Lycron gets close combat, I have the Scarf too. So we're getting Speed Tie. Mellow, I have close combat or crunch, depending on the form. Quag. Quag's still an issue. We'll deal with him later. Tauros gets close combat. Cryogonal, close combat. Predilly. Close combat. I mean, Stunage would also work if it tries to switch in on that. Drapion, Drill Run. Miss Magius, Crunch. Magmar, Stunage, or Drill Run. That hits all of his team except for Miss Magius, Cradilly, and Vaporeon. They'll gain my speed, but with Scarf. So honestly, it doesn't matter if I'm Jolly. Because unless Latias is Scarfed, or Tauros is scarfed. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to be faster than those anyways. Coco scarf maybe. And I don't think Urshifu catches up to Lycanroc. Uh, scarf. Not banned. There it goes. Now if I go Adamant, Urshifu, Uber Scarf. If you go Jolly though, you are technically faster. And will obliterate me. <laughs> That's where webs. I need webs for the Urshifu. They got Defog, Cryogonal, Latias, and Coco, with Cryogonal also having Spin. Alright, now here's the Quag answer. Masquerade. If I click energy ball, does Quag die? If it's Rendo Berry, no. If not, yes. Or if it's just max HP, max special defense. 
Yeah, that doesn't really matter there. That's with energy ball too. Flying does not help me at all here, does it? Besides Urshifu. But it largely goes on protected eat too. Air slash bug buzz. Followed with... I'm gonna go with Giga Drain. Because I think I live an ice punch from this little rat. I do live an ice punch. I'd probably be faster than this though, so I'll probably hit it with the kick drain regardless. Does it die to kick drain? Chance. I need chip on Quag, but I have so many answers, they're going to be switching a lot. Because as long as I can get these mons in safely, they will be needing to switch quite often. And then last but not least, what Gorgeist do I want? Gorgeist Super is faster than Mega Aggron. It's faster than Quag still. Faster than Cradilly. And those are their bulkiest mons, so I can outlast them. With Frisk to show items. Leftovers for healing. Leech Sheet for more healing. Followed by... Power Whip does great damage. Uh, do I want to put Poltergeist on here when I know I have knockoff with Sneasel? I think we'll put Will O Wisp. Because their physical mods are Drapion, Tauros, Meloet if it switches forms. Agron, Coco sometimes, and Urshifu. So yeah. And actually, since we're going this form, we'll see how well we take on Coco. Gorgeist, Super, Cray Dilly. You have a base 100 attack and you're gonna run foul play on this thing? Who the heck? Once again, this is just not a big enough difference to warrant that. I think I'll go Seed Bomb, and I'll probably just leave my main source of damage up to just Poltergeist, honestly. Let's see how well we take on Coco. If, as long as we're max HP, we take a Dazzling Gleam, we take a Thunderbolt. We could take a U-turn. Coco. Physical Attacker, Brave Bird. What? Oh. Brave Bird does not kill as long as we're max defense. And Poltergeist does a fair amount back.
I'd probably try to burn it turn one. So if Coco comes in, max attack Jolly Life Orb with Brave Bird, I could take that and a Wild Charge before I need to switch. So I could easily switch in, take a Brave Bird, burn it, get out, and then come back in later either sacking it or coming in to wall like Urshfu. Or even Vaporeon's maybe with Leech Seed. Depends on the Vaporeon's learns move set because it could be the cleric on the team. I honestly kind of like this, but do I need all this defense to survive? Technically not. Let's say I switch my uh, nature over to adamant. What do I got to do to be able to take a brave bird and a wild charge? Because I want that safe switch in. That's the wrong spot. So now that should barely not kill. We'll go a little bit higher just to guarantee. There we go. So now that definitely takes on Coco pretty easily. 176. With 80 in attack, adamant. Or actually, we do good enough damage without the adamant. At least I'd say we do good enough. And plus with this recoil damage that they'll be taking on us. I'm not too stressed about that. Might just throw the extra 80 here. That will help us take on the special side that they might try to have. And also better prep us for uh, Vaporeon if we need to come in on it. I guess Imp is just fine then. Okay. I'm going to open a second calc sheet. Vaporeon. Gore guys. Dash super. Physical. Okay, pulled up the cleric set. I'm just going to juice that. 24%. I need to survive with that minimum. So... Right now, we're going to survive with about 92%. Let's throw the 80 there as well. Now it's down to 21%. Actually, I don't think that's going to happen either way. Full honesty, I think we'll just do this just because that's the thing that it takes to barely live while I'll charge Brave Bird with a little bit extra. Gore guys will probably be reduced to a sack after that point, but I could possibly set up on Agron. Throw a leech sheet at it, let it die to Agron, switch in something else like Sneasel or Zork who might be injured, and start healing them up a bit. I think that's what I do. Though I will probably just stick with my original spread. I won't take stuff away from it. Actually, if I know I could survive like that, I might as well just do that. I think this honestly might be the team. Uh... 
Let's do this. I forgot to EV those two. Right, you're going to be that. I already decided that a bit ago. I'm going to give you a bit more health. You're not exactly the bulkiest thing, but you might be able to take a hit. And you don't really need the speed. You're base 80. You're mostly slower than their entire team. As long as sticky webs are up, you're good. I might even just sash you just so I can guarantee the web. What? No. If I sash it and they set up rocks, I'm screwed. We'll do this. Because then it forces more Pico to come in. Very fast, very offensive team. Except for these two. So we got Sneasel, who are, is our main form of damage. We got Zork for special side damage. And Illusion Tricks based off Sneasel and Gorgeist respectively. So I could play around with those two. Uh, more Pico, Parting Shot. Rapid spins, hazard removal, switching. Two moves to boost speed on there as well. Like your rocks are cleaner. Mask grains are webs and main quag counter. Gorgas is our secondary quag counter, but it also handles Coco decently well. I think this will be the team. So we'll mark it down. Week 2 versus Hidden. So, I'll see y'all guys in the battle. And then hopefully after the battle, we'll help sound team build. And we'll get his gameplay. If not, I'll let y'all know at the end in a separate little clip after the battle.
All right, hello guys, welcome back. Uh, we missed sounds battle, but we got the replay here, so I'm just gonna record this and let y'all just watch this real quick. close for any who are curious this was the team that he was running at the time uh, i watched the fight on mobile i helped build the team on mobile so i wasn't able to record any of it but this is what he had next week we will be fighting spitfire and purple so we'll see y'all guys then